two, one. Hey guys, welcome tonight for this uh, shot casted GDV provided by URTTV and Urban Zone. So tonight we'll be featuring uh, GDV versus SM, uh, first division Urban Zone League capital flag match. And so uh, since it's already started, we'll just um, start it now. Uh, we'll just wait. Okay, no, no, no. So here we go. Uh, now following GD Oh, by the way, another podcaster will come along uh, a bit later. We, j we, j we were just short uh, in finding another one right now. And so, okay, here we go. Um, SM seem to to have taken the red flag here on the blue side, so they're about to cap it. Uh, everybody's defending, and so Dexter is gonna make the first cap for Six Machine here. For so one O. -oh. For sex machine on this blue side, Abby, which is supposed to be, I remem uh, remind you all, the hardest. Uh, so, uh, featuring Haltes at Tunnel here, making some uh, shots, but doesn't hit anybody. Okay, and, okay now he gets taken out by Sake, so NGD is making a push at the blue flag here. And every defender, every SM are dead. Is dead. So following now, Piotrus carrying the blue fly here, gonna make the cap with the jump, uh, statue jump, sorry. And now covering the flag, his flag in defense. And here we go, makes a frag and goes back room to attack for another push. Eight minutes remaining, one to one here. Um, I don't know which. Which team chose this map? I believe it's Sex Machine. Uh, I think GD's, GD will pick Tohonga, just as they did to THS uh, yesterday or two days ago. And so, okay, um, he's about to make a push here. SM Goldie defending, making the frag, and going room to make some early kills here, pre shotting. And nope, doesn't get any hit. So he stays back at Marble Up here. Uh, Team, tactical team kills his mate Altes, reloads and gets get back in position here. Okay, here we go. Now following SM Karam from the position attack here at the street. He doesn't get many hits, gets taken out just as his mate. And Sixos taking the blue flag here, going back in room probably or something like that. And he's gonna make probably the yep second cap for GD here. Now leading two to one after three minutes. And Agent Tomek, aka Prook, takes the blue flag but drops it. He's down. And okay. So the blue flag is marble down. Now he gets returned by Goldie here, falling blade in defense. Makes a frag and then dies right before the wave. And now following GD Morphe here, pushing in defense to Cathedral. Gets taken out by Karam. Nicely played here. And okay. So Six Machine is making a push here. Even the defenders of Six Machine are making a push, just as we can see. Goldie making double frag here and gets taken out. Too bad he gets a long respawn. Probably SM will have to defend here. Hey Azo, I just want to add something to uh, what you're saying. I'm not going to be an official shoutcaster this time, but uh, I just um, before this war I asked the team leaders for uh, their um, their maps and uh, Holtus from. Um, uh, Sex Machine said that they were going to choose Turnpike, and Azul from uh, um, uh, GD said that they would choose Abbey. So this is uh, JD's map, and Sex Machine okay. are going to play Turnpike. Just for your thank information. Thank you for the rectification. No okay, problem. Thank you very much. I wasn't sure because uh, GD took Tahunga, I believe, versus THS, and they did pretty well versus uh, THS on yeah. this map. No, exactly. So um, anyway, I'm uh, okay. I'm off again. Continue shoutcasting. Good luck. <laughs> okay. See you, man. Thanks. Okay. So um, SM and GD are making both a push here, but neither of them manages to take the opponent's flag. Though so Piotrus and Seiko so are advanced at Marble Down here. Seiko gets taken out. Piotrus makes the frag. No, it was Piotrus. Yes, Piotrus makes the frag. Seiko gets taken out as well. Okay, there's a lot of action here. Uh, GD is leading 3 to 1 here. It's very tight uh, on this Abbey you know, red side for GD. Um, three, they only have a two flag lead, which isn't much uh, considered their advantage of the strategic position uh, that, well, Marble is really hard to defend, so GD really got an advantage uh, in the attack here. 
And so a two flag lead isn't enough, I believe. Well, they can still get out of it with a two flag lead if they defend well on the blue side, but it would be better for them if they put more flags. So uh, there's still four minutes, 30 seconds remaining. And here goes a tactical timeout, maybe. No, yeah, no, 999. Morph is 999. So it's not a tactical timeout. Uh, I believe they, um, they're they okay with their tactic. They just need more time to cap some more flags. And so I believe they're going to wait for Morphe here. Azul's not going to unsub. So we'll just be waiting. So um, tonight shotcasting is Azul from URT TV. I'm going to try and bring another shotcaster with me here for a uh, second part of the match. And so this is, a, as I said, an Urban Zone League Catch the Flag first division match. Six Machine versus GD. I'm sorry, I don't know how to pronounce uh, GD's name. I don't even have uh, the name under my eyes right now, so I can't even guess it, you know. Uh, I mean, guess the pronunciation. And so, okay, no, Azel's going to unsub, and I believe the time is going to go off uh, very soon. You can notice that Azel doesn't have that good ping. Which is which might be the reason why he's not playing. And check out the pings of uh, Six Machine. Uh, they have pretty good pings. Anyway, so that that has to do with with what's happening in game, but not that much. The skill uh, is more important, I believe. Anyway, now following uh, GD's making a push out room here, and Six Machine. Doesn't seem yet. Uh, Dexter's alone. And oh, Kukras makes the mistake of going back street. And the last Six Machine live was street, so he was there to defend. But Dexter's here to take the blue flag and kill Dexter. Um, I believe Karen tried to return here because there was the second Six Machine live left. But he fails. He made a frag but get, uh, got taken out by the second uh, GD. So it's now 4 to 1 for GD here. Azul takes the blue flag of Karam and his mate are powerless uh, facing the, uh, well, Azul's men in got into room out of the lead of the of, uh, S Six Machines a weapon. And so 5-1 for GD, uh, I mean, I've seen a lot of GD's match and I can say that, well, at the beginning they don't put that many flags, but at the end like the machines on and it goes on and goes on and they can put very very uh, a great amount of flags so uh, machines you really got to be careful here I think they should start playing the defense uh, even though they made a nice push here and they're about to take the red flag those one GD is still alive okay they kill him and Karim takes the red flag goes through and it's okay he's playing safely and goes back into the respawn uh, machine really have to make that cap to be able to go back into the game so, oh blaze gonna make a return here yeah he takes the blue flag makes the return after making nice frag here at marble with a nice push though he does manage to go back with the flag to room and get taken out okay six machine making a push here and all gd team are dead though dexter's a bit short here to take the red fly and he's gonna try and ooh spawn kill just as goldy did with a double nade right here so Dexter, oh, wanted to take the red flag, but failed, so he decides to take the flag, but then go room instead of street and gets taken out. That was really too bad, and so CL5-1 in favor of GD here on this Abbey first side. That's really bad. I mean, a four flag advance is pretty huge. Well, not that huge, but it's really defendable on the blue, fi uh, blue side. So, yeah, uh, I think what uh, Six Machine should do is put a flag and then just try to defend a bit more, because... Lately they've been trying to push and push and it didn't pay off. So yeah, they really should like either make a nice push and take the flag and cap it or just starting to defend by this point because losing one more flag would be fatal for them. So okay, uh, well, uh, two GD are dead just as two FS. So yeah, they're pretty much going to defend here. Uh, Alt is alone versus two here and prenading on the flag which is very smart. Though he gets a long respawn by Glenn here trying to spawn kill, trying to make a double kill here. Almost, but he gets uh, killed. Now following GD Pure Trust here in defense Ooh, on the red flag, nading and carrying a G36 here, making uh, some hits, giving some hits, and finishing his frag after getting badly wounded. And tries the, the double kill. Blaine's here to finish his kill. Azul's pretty low with the blue flag coming out back at Fonts, and will he make it? 6 to 1 now for GD. It's really bad for Six Machine. Uh, well, 
five flag advance for GD uh, is pretty nice and I think they're pretty comfortable with it. So now I think they're going to be really careful or will they try making the gap even bigger? Yeah, though no, Frook's too low so he's going to try and spawn kill. Manages to put Goldie at 3 HP and he takes the frag after all. Very nice played. 40 seconds remaining. Um, will SM try to make a last push? No, that would be... Oh uh, yeah, well Dexter's trying it. Took the red flag but he's too low and he's at Fontaine gets second out. So yeah, Six Machines got a van here, 3 versus 5. Turns alone, and he gets taken out by behind. No, Altus was alive too, and manages to protect his flag, so that's probably gonna be the score. Uh, well, yeah, that's probably gonna be the score, so 6 to 1, fla 5 flag uh, advance for GD, which is pretty nice. And so, um, this map is GD's map, so... Uh, leading on their map is nice and well SM gotta be careful now and but still losing the openness map is not as bad as losing uh, the team's own uh, their own map but I think SM can do something uh, I believe they're not that bad on the Abbey those um, yeah GD are really pretty uh, really like owning on this map okay so now while waiting um, the both teams to be ready I will try to find Another k shot caster, though I I feel like I'm doing very much better without uh, without any other. I don't know why. It's not their fault. I believe it's my fault. But you know. Anyway, uh, we'll try to find another one. I don't have any music to propose to you, so I'll just try and talk while searching for another shot caster. I'm just gonna send to bring something. Well, oh, six machines are already ready. I hope they will give me the time to f find another shot test round just as um, um I believe the match is starting right now. Okay, j I just had the time to ask the two shot casters. So, okay, I take up the center print. Here we go. And now following SM Karam rushing at room, so his position is the attacking offensive one at room pushing here. And he's probably gonna wait for the other one. No, he's rushing, you know, it's really not safe to rush at uh, zero seconds almost, because see, he just got a long spawn. And I don't know why Dexter's going for it uh, as well. He gets also a long spawn, so Gold is alone defending the 2 GD. And so he's going for the red flag. He knew uh, Goldy was at 2 0. So. Uh, oh, haha. <laughs> well, there was a timeout, and so the, um, yeah, the s w waves were fucked up. I believe that that's why uh, Dexter and Karam rushed at the wrong wave time. And so, okay, well, while GD almost had their first gap here, they had to reload, so the score will be 0-0, zero zero, and that gives me more time to find another shot caster. Uh, that's cool. So yeah, I'm looking for a shot caster. Do 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 do. And I believe the uh, wait, it's gonna be GTV. Well, I'm not on GTV right now. Okay, I, I hope it's not started yet. Anyway, tonight there's Barcelona versus Arsenal, so uh, I would be really impressed if I had at least some listeners. Just checking this out right now. And on the GTV there's, there's like, well, still 30, 33 viewers, which is very not bad for... The Knight of uh, Barcelona vs Arsenal, let's get back to the match here, following SM Cyrax here, defending on the stairs, and gets taken out, and gets a long score here, so uh, SM should probably stop their push and start to defend here. Well, apparently no, the attackers of GD are coming back to defend as well, well, let's remember that this is the blue side, so they shall defend more than they attack. So that was pretty wise from uh, Sexo, I believe it was, coming back to defend. 
And okay, following now, okay, uh, Crook defending wall fake, so brings back the red flag here, and first cap for GD. I don't know why, uh, many matches I have watched on uh, Abby, it's the blue side uh, team which caps the first flag every time, though it's the hardest side, so that's that's pretty weird, something funny to keep in mind, and maybe an analysis sometime. Anyway, okay, 1-0 for GD here on this blue side, nice lead, so uh, their total lead is um, by 6 points, uh, first, first minute is uh, played, okay, so, 2 long respawn for GD players, only 1 for SM, SM should make a push here and probably try and take the blue flag, starts trying to make a frag with his 36 at the street but fails and Azul and Prook are defending very well stopping totally stopping the rush of six machine six machines attackers yeah okay a lot going on here and GD are outnumbered totally so that's why pure trust keeping an eye on the flag no okay uh, they're all spawned so apparently uh, Six Machine trying to push very hard at room but always gets taken out. I think they should probably start rushing but by other oh nice hits by Altis. Killing the flag carrier here, very nice play. That was a very important kill to make. Uh, Altis asking for a tactical, tactical team kill and he gets it. Well the Six Machine, yeah, Karam takes the blue flag and is gonna make the first cap of this round. One, one, oh he fails the statue jump. And well, he he just right smiley to show us that it's funny. Yeah, and oh, too bad he was too late to team kill his mate. And Altus gets taken out by Sake, so getting a long respawn just as Goldie gets a long respawn too. So SM should defend. And here we go. Yep, Karam's defending gets badly wounded here and gets taken out by his mate. Okay, it was a tactical timeout. Uh, team kill. Sorry. And okay, now following SM, Dexter pushing at room with his mate Karam, and he gets naded. And Karam too low to rush, yeah, he gets uh, killed as well. <coughs> now following Sig, so at Cathedral here, making a frag, giving a long response to one at six machine player, I think. No, he didn't, but still nice to play here, and he's pre shotting at the red flag, nading here. I uh, usually don't use nades when I attack on this side, because it's really hard to, uh, well, to use them at the good time. But apparently Sig so uh, uh, is using them, and so I would be, it would be very nice to see uh, what he can do with it. Well, the thing which is pretty useful is when you have your grenades and you need to spawn kill, you just nade and spawn. But to attack and nade the red flag and stuff, I don't find it very useful. <coughs> Sorry. And so yeah, Dexter and Starx are alone versus Azul and Treacherous. So uh, Sex Machine doesn't seem to make stuff happen here, only 1-1 one -on -one after 4 minutes and they're led by 5 points so that's gonna be really hard for them here to catch up Sexo so gets taken by Haltet here at Cathedral and uh, yeah, as I was saying before, uh, it was a, time ago, a while ago, but still I'm gonna say it. Yeah, before, while, well, okay, here we go. Six Machine takes the blue flag here, and that's because they attacked by Tunnel, Street, and uh, Room uh, at the same time. Because for like several minutes, they were just pushing by Room, I don't know why, because maybe the Tunnel was getting long response or stuff, and the the Street couldn't push. And so the, the Room were got totally owned it, because <laughs> the defenders know where are going to come uh, and when are going to come the attackers by room here uh, just a narrow space so it's easy to aim to the door and kill the attackers and so okay 2 to 1 for 6 machine here on this second side of Abbey Capital Flag which is GD's map on this uh, match and the map of 6 machine will be uh, Turnpike which I believe they play very good. I, I forgot which team they, they beat on it. Um, they've beaten on it. But uh, in my memories, uh, Steam Machine does pretty well on Turnpike. So that's going to be really interesting to see how uh, they will uh, manage to, um, to play versus GD. Which I believe at one point were very good in Turnpike. And then, well, were a bit less good. Uh, as you can see in the Nation Cup matches where they lost on Turnpike, I, I, if I remember well. Uh, Chuck was trying to make spawn kill with an A here, but just got blocked on the wall, so he failed. 
And uh, I didn't mention it, but GD kept the five minutes two to two here. And so uh, six machine are really held down and can't can't catch up. Five minutes, no four minutes remaining here, and they're led still by five points. Uh, let's remember that GD won yeah. the red side uh, six to one, uh, uh, if I remember well, yeah, six to one. And so yep. Yeah. Uh, six machines really got to do something here, make something happen. Maybe they should like do a tactical timeout and just rethink their tactic. What's what's going wrong and what's going well? Uh, I don't see teams doing that enough. Okay, so uh, six machine takes blue flag here, and well, he wanted to nade, <laughs> but okay, he he abandoned that idea, which was very weird, and caps the flag. So three to two for SM. They still need to put four more flags to draw this map, five to win it. Dexter took the flag after making a nice kill probably. And so here we go, maybe a fourth cap for Six Machine. Yep, fourth cap for Six Machine. What's happening to Didi here? Maybe Six Machine just, um, well, oh no, well, apparently, uh, here we go. Didi comes back with uh, a nice uh, flag, taken, uh, flag take by Piotras. And he goes back in the respawn, and the uh, six machine took the took the blue flag as well. So it's going to be a wait for the hot potato, and that's I uh, think better for GD because they have time to lose here. Uh, Thirty seconds are is really precious. You can take flag and stuff. Oh, uh, but apparently the uh, GD is going to return here. Uh, premature return. Uh, six machine uh, didn't pay too much attention to defending the flag they had. And so that's really a bad mistake they should work on. And uh, so four to three for a uh, six machine. And while Karim takes blue flag, Sexo takes the red flag. Don't know where Sexo went. Apparently he went straight. So uh, Karim is not gonna meet Sexo, which is well too bad because I would love to see uh, a little one on one uh, uh, between flag carriers here. Apparently, uh, yeah, Karim knew his mates were gonna return the flag, and they're trying to double the. Yep, they're gonna double the cap. So now 5-3, to three, they're gonna make it 6-3, to three, and that's really nice play by 6 Machine, apparently they didn't need any technical timeout, so 3 points lead, okay, so they just need 2 more flags to draw the map, and 3 more flags to win the map, and now following Blaine here, camping sneakily, oh, on the tunnel, but he got spotted by Goldie, though Goldie just got totally taken out. Because his reflex weren't that high, and Hustle defending alone here, making nice double kill here, and saving his flag that was very nice from him, and trying to early hit here uh, the outcomers uh, of the phone of GD. I don't know if that's English, but I uh, hope you understood. And Dexter takes the blue flag here, uh, very nice. So that that's probably going to be a seventh cap for six machine. Oh, he fell his jump apparently, but I think it's going to be a gap. Here we go, seven to three. One minute and uh, one minute, twenty seconds remaining, and well, um, I believe uh, they just need six machine. Just need one more flag to draw the map. Uh, I don't know what GD is going to do here. Will they play defensive or just, uh, in the contrary, just try start pushing very much to to increase the gap and make some flag, uh, put cap some flags. I don't know. Let's just see what they're going to do. Uh, I believe for now they're just trying to defend, yeah, uh, three at marble, uh, I don't know, I can see the street, but I believe one is very close to the flag at street. But six machines making a really nice push here, but too bad they all get taken out, all get killed by uh, Hazel, which is a nice job, though he got a long respawn after. Uh, following the crew camping the respawn, defending his flag, very nice here. And okay, he's saving his flag. 30 seconds remaining. If the machine wants to make the draw on this map, which is GD's map, so a draw on uh, the openness map would be pretty nice. They have to do everything now. They just have to push. Everyone push now. And so that's the last response here. Let's see what everybody can do. Kerm gets taken out. And oh my god, six machine are only two versus four. That's maybe gonna be another cap for uh, GD instead of a cap which would bring the match to a draw for six machine. And here we go, seven to four. So that's a win of GD for this Abby Cap the flag. That was a really nice and entertaining match to watch and comment. I hope I'm not talking too too fast for you guys, or my accent is not too crappy for you guys. Because uh, if it is, just PM me on IRC on the uh, URT-TV channel. We've got uh, uh, this quite a number of viewers, so uh, it's good. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, 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 don't, I don't seem to be... Uh, okay, no, uh, the streaming worked.
wasn't working at first, but oh my god, 18 viewers on a fun, uh, soccer match night. Yeah, it's good average. Keep on going oh, that's and. That's very uh, nice. Oh, here we go. See the ya. match is starting. So turn pack capture flag, which is a uh, six machines map. So uh, let's remember that GD won Abbey capture flag, which was their map. And so here we go, uh, six machines starting on the red side, which is supposed to be the hardest, supposed to, of course. And now following GD Blaine here at middle, um, Brook trying to make to take the red flag where he got taken out. Nothing pretty. Fancy here happening. Okay, one defender of GD got taken out. Chutras takes out the attacker that killed his mate. And okay, so Chutras playing with a G36 at Pillar, which is pretty, very, uh, pretty well good. Uh, I mean, uh, pretty interesting. Uh, if you know how to uh, use a G36 very well, it's really, really powerful at Pillar here, defending like that. And so both teams got the opponent's flag. Oh well. And I think that's in favor of Six Machine because since they're on the harder side, it's uh, time lost for uh, GD's attackers to have flags. And so, okay, uh, apparently uh, uh, Six Machine are determined to not make to not make the same mistake as on Abbey, where like the flag carrier was alone in the respawn with a half, uh, with like five, three bars, four bars. And that was, and so GD made a return and a cap, and like GD won by only two flags in the Abbey, so that return and that cap from GD because of this mistake of Six Machine not defending the flag carrier uh, during a hot potato uh, waiting. Well, that's really bad, and a mistake to not make. So here we go, the hot potato boom, and so following GD Azul with a G36 as well at Pillar defending. Ooh, me Giving, having some nice hits here on Karam, on Dexter and Karam. Though he gets taken out, so uh, his base alone versus too low, and he makes a double frag nicely played by Piotras. Now following six mission goal, he making a push at middle here, waiting for the uh, openings to come middle. But oh, he makes some nose and takes their weapon, so he's gonna go while his main attacks and makes a frag, but gets taken out by the second defender here, Azul. Though Azul is pretty low, three percent. So that's. The moment for Six Machines attack to take the flag. Uh, well, oh, the two defenders, Six Machine and the middle, are dead. So yes, yeah, uh, no. Well, Altus was the last one alive uh, in the defense of Six Machines. So Six will make the frag, uh, made the frag and takes the red flag here. And very nice. And apparently, well, Six Machine has the blue flag as well. Very nice. So that's going to be another hot potato waiting. Still in favor of Six Machine being on the hardest side, supposedly the hardest side. Uh, that's just the statistics that shows that. And so, okay. And again, the Six Machine not making the mistake of leaving the flag carry alone. With no life. Very good. Human uh, learns on their mistake. I don't know if that's English. That's like uh, an expression, a, fr a French expression. That I just played in English. Yeah, I know. I know what you think. What do you think? So following this round here we can push at Pillar, I don't know, yep, okay, well that's the last one before the hot potato, so he was trying to take the flag right after the hot potato, but he got taken out by a defender at cheap, and thanks to him. Oh, he tried to take the flag, the red flag, right at the hot potato, but Six Machine were uh, here on time, and Altus makes a frag here. And yeah, he, get, he gets tactical team kill by Goldie, which is the middle of Sex Machine. And Professor at Pillar making some, uh, well, giving some hits. Ooh, five Kevlars here right into Karam with a G36, pretty nice. While Fruits tried to take the red flag, Sex Machine took the blue flag. And Sexo here making a push at 11 seconds of the wave, making a frag, going back to Metro with the red flag. And he's like unhit, didn't get any hit in the legs, in the torso or wherever. He was too fast for the defenders. And that's a totally nice cap, a ninja cap I would say for GD. Very nice played by Seixo here. So GD now leading 1-0 after 5 minutes almost um, of this first half. And so Seixo again pushing here at Van. 
throwing some nades and he's gonna go for it probably dropping the Kevlar do you know no he didn't block drop it and makes a frag and tries to double frag and crooks here for the cover makes the frag takes the blue f uh, the red flag I'm sorry and goes back to me pro drops the flag for his mate takes so takes the takes flag Blaze here to cover the middle, so that's probably going to be another cap for GD. And Blaze is here to triple, no, double the cap, I'm sorry. Uh, the cap for. Okay, well, oh, nice try for the double cap, but uh, I believe uh, it was the middle. Yeah, no, Cyrex was there to recover. Very nice play by Cyrex. Crime tries to take the blue flag, but gets taken out Why Prook took the uh, the red flag, sorry. And, well, it's gonna make the... Oh, okay, no, I didn't ma I didn't uh, see, but Sex Machine took the blue flag. And so that's gonna be the third waiting for the hot potato of the game. Uh, that's... <laughs> that's um, not lame, that's just, uh, well, very well played from Sex Machine, because, yeah, that's in their advantage, I believe, just as I said uh, twice already. And, uh, well, I was I was asking myself something, but I just forgot, so I'm just gonna pass on. Uh, following the machine here, Cyrax. Oh, gets double allied by Seixo at Mitro here. Nice try, though. 2-0 to zero for GD. So, uh, Six Machine should not lose any more flags, because a two-flag lead on Turnpike can really make the difference. But since it's on the blue flag, having a lead of two flags is, well, having the lead at all is normal so uh, Six Machine can still catch up on the blue side um, so yeah everything is still possible they can still draw this match and Goldie here okay well he makes the frag while his defenders mates uh, mate defenders makes the frags as well so the flag is safe and okay here we go Goldie makes the frag though he's too low trying to Help his mates in attack. Yeah, he gets successful time team kill. While well, Dexor takes the blue flag here, and so now Sex Machine really got to defend and defend his flag carrier, their flag carrier. But oh, Proof made a nice push at middle very early, but got taken out for making a nice frag. So here, a cap for Sex Machine. Very nice play, two to one for GD though. And so it's still only a one flag advance for GD. So that's a really tight, tight match we're seeing. 2 minutes 45 seconds remaining, so uh, there's not many caps during this uh, this match, so during this map especially, because on Abbey there was many caps, uh, I can say. And uh, that's probably uh, partially because of the hot potato waiting. A lot of waiting, maybe almost 3 minutes waiting for the hot potato, a bit less. It's so, okay, well, Six Machine took again blue flag and are about to make the cap, though Karam's here too low to defend his flag. But, ooh, throwing nice nade. Ooh, very, oh, that is, was, was very nice, because, like, the attacker of GD were, was too low to take the flag and go. Though he got taken out by Ezel, making the, the return of the hit flag. And so that was a nice double return here. Both teams did a great job. So this match is very interesting, very tight, and the, play, the team play is very nice and neat to watch. Here Alt is trying to make a double frag, Cyrix here to finish the frag actually. And Dexter tries to take the blue flag, uh, while well, he gets taken out, but comes here to take the blue flag, and kills the guy coming back at Pillar Door. Very nice play here. That's not very always, um, well, that's not always easy to do, to kill, to kill the, the guy coming back at Pillar Door. Depends on your position and your jumping speed, actually. So 2-2 two two here. Uh, Six Machine manages to draw GD on the red side of turn 5, which is very nice. Because on the blue side, they will surely have the advantage for the attack and the capping. Well, depends, uh, supposedly, uh, as the statistics, statistics says. And Piotras here, the defender, is making a push at street, but he gets killed. Because six machines defending at three player. Nice. So one minute remaining. I think six machines not going to try and make another cap here. Uh, I, I believe they're all defending or almost all defending. And so yep, the Azel's alone. He's, he's a defender. So okay, Sarix pre nading here at Metro, trying to make some early frags. And well, he just waits, you know, because he ha he got time to lose. And well, apparently, yeah, uh, Six Machines not attacking as uh, GD, uh, as Pure Trust and Azul got nothing to do here. 
And so, uh, okay, well, very nice play. 20 seconds remaining. That's the last push each team can make for the last pri uh, last cap of this round. And okay, well, it's too late now. So this first half ends 2-2. Two to two. Uh, very nice play by Six Machine because the blue side, as I said many, many, many times, is the supposed, supposedly, the easiest side that's seen because of the statistic. Many matches are like the blue side. Well, you put more flag and you have the lead. Anyway, I think you pretty much got that. So two to two. That's very nice from uh, Six Machine, as I said on Abby. Uh, they are really good in Turnpike, and GD may be a bit less good as they were before. Because I've seen GD play on Turnpike like, like, I'm not gonna say gods, but really, really nice with a great team play and great timing. But I think they just maybe trained less in Turnpike. I, I, I really don't know. Though, uh, all we can see is... <laughs> and Gold is making the remark. Oh my god, 3 to 2 for Arsenal! So that's like, oh, Arsenal versus Barcelona, the match going on right now. Soccer match. Well, it seems a pretty interesting match as well, because 5 five goals in a high skill match like that must be very nice to see and very tense to live. Anyway, get, let's get back to this match, actually. The match where Commanding Duty versus Six Machine, Urban Zone League match here, catch the flag. And so following GD Azul here with a G36 as well. Uh, I'm not sure it's wise to use the G G36 on the defense on the red side, actually, because there's nothing much to snipe. And so since uh, the uh, LR or or uh, the M4 has like a better frequency of uh, bullets shot, it would be, I think, smarter to take uh, the LR. Or the M4. That's my opinion. So okay. Again, both teams got the opponent's flag, so that's the fourth waiting for the hot potato of this map. One minute played already. Still zero to zero on this side. And the first uh, half was two to two. So okay, Sick Machine has got to make a difference being on the red, on the blue side now. Will they make it, or GD? Or, sorry, or GD, or will GD be better on the red side, as on the blue side, and totally over six machine? Well, we'll just check this out right now, cause the hot potato's gone, it's done, it's gone also. Anyway, so following GD, Kershaw's here in defense, making a fry and double it. Oh, yep, uh, almost second fry. So he got taken up, and Sarx dies in defense, Haltes kills Sake, so, so the flag of uh, Six Machine is safe. And well, the flag of GD as well. It's a very tight match. Uh, the attackers has really, uh, have really trouble to take the flag, though. Goldy coming back from middle takes the red flag, but gets second out while Karam's too low to help him. That's really too by a nice try. Maybe more coordination from both uh, mates of Six Machine would have been easier. And Gold again flanking by middle here, really helping the attack. Uh, and well, that's probably going to be. Oh, Dexter making a nice clutch here while having the red flag on Nitro. Uh, very nice play from every uh, Six Machine player here, and that's going to be a cap. And well, this cap was um, really totally. <coughs> I uh, forgot the word. But still he deserves. So 1 0 for 6 Machine. Uh, now taking, taking the lead on this turnpike level. Uh, taking the lead by one flag. And here we go. Karam takes the red flag though. He's blocked by his mate and his low stamina. I don't know if that's English. I do not believe uh, it is. And well, oh, he's alone versus 5 GD here. Will he be able to defend his flag while keeping the red flag safe? No, he just keeps the red flag safe. Which is pretty nice still, because uh, GD players could have like flanked him and returned their flag as well. Anyway, so both teams got again the opponent's flag, so that <laughs> that's the fifth waiting for the hot potato of the game, and that's the in the advantage of SM again, even if they're on the blue side, because they have the lead. So it's it's to GD to make the push here. They have to push and m put flags. 
and so well, Quick Machine really playing good on this turn pack level, just as JD, but uh, I said GD. Well, FM is really playing good on this turn pack level, just as GD, but Quick Machine is just playing a tiny bit more good, better. And so, okay, six minutes remaining, 1046 Machine here, falling now off. If I feel are making some, giving some hits, always make some so giving, making some hits, well, making some frags, giving some hits. Anyway, now Cyrax alone in defense, making a frag here, double frag, yep, double frag, very nice play, giving two on his point, he's gonna push us straight here, though he got slowed down by a but he's here, and here we go, make no, almost a frag, but his mates are here to make frags as well, and here we go, Karim goes with the red flag at Mitro, that's probably gonna be a second cap, no, oh, it's Dexter with the red flag, he's pretty low, gets taken out, so he's gonna return that flag, unless... Sixo doesn't make that kill, no, he makes that kill, very nice play, though he's very low, so Six Machines got a chance here to make, uh, to put a flag, and okay, well, uh, Sixo got taken out, so, yep, Six Machines making a push, Karim takes the red flag here, and Haltis is here to defend with Cyrex, and okay, well, Karim uh, drops the flag to Dexter, and Dexter tactical team killed Karim, and so here we go, Dexter is going for the second cap of this half for Six Machine, oh, failed a bit his trap here, so here we go, 2-0 for Sex Machine, and the ha the last half was 2-2, two two, so that's the lead by two flags for Sex Machine. So, oh, Piotr's making a nice double kill here, and Mitro now pushing from Mitro, making a third frag. Very nice play, then GD takes the flag, goes back to Pilar, and so Sex was full life, full stamina almost, and so here we go, that's gonna be a very fast cap, 2-1. Though still in favor of six machines, still winning the map by one flag. Uh, four minutes, thirty seconds remaining. That's a very, very, very nice match. And so here we go, Sexo making double kill, double killing the attackers. And I c we can see that the uh, mate of uh, Sexo got a medic kit, which is in that case pretty useful because Sexo was at one HP and now he's full. So very nice played. Uh, by the defense of GD, like uh, taking a medic kit at the good time, right time. And GD is making a little, making a push here at Garrick, opening the doors, making an almost double kill. So Cyrix alone with Goldie here, pretty low. And okay, well, nice try by GD, almost taking that blue flag to Pilar, but just, just couldn't do it because of the weight of bone. Still nice try. I hope for Sex Machine they're not gonna try and just stop now attacking and start being too much defensive because that's the trap. You should not, while you're winning, stop attacking as much as you did or stop attacking at all. You, s you should just keep your position unless things are going really bad in defense. And here we go, Dexter are making a nice frag, takes a red flag here, comes back at Garden to the second door of Metro, which is very smart of him, though he gets hit while uh, Karim opens the door, uh, the first door of Mitro, and here we go, so, so making a push at Pilar, making double frag, takes a blue flag, comes back in the respawn, but I believe Six Machine also have GD's flag, no they don't, and here we go, GD coming back to the score, 2-2, two two, 3 minutes remaining here, Six Machine is making a really nice push, Tyrex takes the flag, and Altus makes some early flags, in the uh, early kills in the spawn, here we go, Cyrex with a red flag is going to make the cap or not. Gold is alone in defense, Cyrex alone to cover himself. And I don't know why he didn't shoot that enemy before. Uh, luckily for him, his, uh, his opponent wasn't fast enough to recover. So again, both teams got the opponent's flag. Six, uh, wait, six times uh, the teams are waiting for the return, but apparently uh, Six Machine made the return here, killing the GD defender, flag carrier also. And so here we go, 3 to 2 for Six Machine, very well played by Six Machine here. And so 3 to 2, taking the lead again, 2 minutes 20 seconds remaining. And Fruk trying, yep, Fruk and Sexo, okay, Sexo got, got the blue fly here, coming back, Pillar. And he's gonna make the cap, it's pretty low term here at Van, making the push, but gets taken by Piotr, as very well covered by the mates of Seixo, by GD's crew. And so here you go, 3-3, three three and 2 minutes remaining, so for now, uh, GD's winning the ma uh, winning the match, but drawing the map. So that's a really, really tight match, let's remember that GD won Abby on, uh, like, uh, two, with a 2 flag advance, it was very tight. And so uh, now it's Turnpike, which is Sex Machine's map, and okay, here we go. Uh, Sex Machine just made the difference here, leading by one flag, 
and are trying to double this flag. Sarax took the red flag, coming back ma by middle here, very nice. Ninja, Ninja Cap again, second Ninja, so that, so that, yeah, brings six machine to five points, five flags. And oh my god, they're tripling this cap. What's happening to GD here? They're probably gonna get six to three here at the score. And oh no, very nice return by Sanctuary making the frag and returns the flag, then take the blue flag. Very nice return by Sanctuary. I've been so. Uh, I mean, Sanctuary's really like totally doing this. It's his job, I believe, because man, in many matches he's done, he's done like so many returns, amazing returns, like flag on flag, like this. Anyway, uh, so very nice return by, by Sexo because if that flag was capped, it was totally the end for GD. Now they still have a chance, though only 35 seconds remaining and like 6 machines leading by 2 flags, so GD's gotta do everything now. They gotta do everything now, cap the flag, cap the flag, 2 flags to cap in 30 seconds. Though, oh, it's kind of taking red flag here, which is the contrary. And uh, okay, well, okay, well, that's over, I believe. Even if GD managed to have one flag here, a six machine will still win the map by one flag. So this match ends in a draw. It was like one of the best match I've ever shot casted, I believe. Because okay, that's gonna be a win for GD on Abbey by two flags, and a win by six machine on Turnpike by two flags as well. And it's like, oh my god, the scores were always tied up. And it was really an amazing match. Uh, both teams did a great job. Every player played very good. Uh, there's no loser in this match. And so, yeah, because it's a draw, so no loser, no winner as well. But yeah, I know I believe they're all winners. That was really nice. And so uh, that's uh, my last words for this shotcast. Thank you for listening, guys. This was Azel from URT TV, shot casting this Urban Zone League match for you guys. And so, uh, see you next time. Ciao.